Hey everybody, Ben here, and welcome back to Sketch Every Day. Now, recently I've been showing off my old sketchbooks, and in the previous episode we talked about sketchbook number one, which was my sketchbook during my senior year of high school, and now we're moving into sketchbook number two. And that I started uh, the summer after my high school year, so probably about June or July of 2008, and this runs to uh, late July 2009. So, let's take a look inside. If you recall, the uh, last time we started a sketchbook, I was talking about how I usually start with a start and end with a poem and my signature, and I was just doing that here. Oh, I just noticed 51408. I dated this one. I was still playing with people around a little bit then, before I moved into more direct nature and landscapes. A little bit of dragon practice. Pretty sure I had a reference somewhere that I was going off of for this. Well, for all of these, really. There's one that I didn't complete. It's a slightly more frightening zombie-like creature here. This is also where I started sketching almost exclusively in pen. So you're going to be seeing a lot of that in this sketchbook. A lot of globular rock structures. My lines were also a lot more circular back then. A little Mega Man dressed up as Captain America. I did a digital coloring of this a while back. Got a little zombie Kirby going on here. Sort of rediscovering my love for trees at this point. Still trying to be really expressive, pushing my limits. This to this day is still probably one of my better images of people, or of a person, rather. Colored pencil. Some pastel work. More cartoons. Still doing the Gino and Boom comic strip series back then. This was the part of the library in my college. I have a, this is one of the more humorous drawings I came up with as a mustache smoking a cigarette. Starting to do my thumbnail landscapes a little bit. It's still very, very far from where I am today. A little bit of titling work. Cats. I can tag this video as cats now. Somewhat more frightening imagery. This is a lot of this sketchbook is sort of my nightmare sketchbook. We're going to see some very, probably more disturbing type sketches here. Keep in mind I'm about 18 while doing most of these sketches. idea of a carnival in the clouds. This one has been on my mind pretty much ever since I did it. 
Still not sure how to execute it. It's one of those long-term projects. Castle Spires. This is an interesting exercise. Anytime I'm feeling very creative, um, I used to have this technique where I'd sit down and just start writing words on top of words on top of words. Just anything that was coming to mind. And, uh, I could come back to it later and maybe pull a work out. Kind of work off of that a little bit. I was doing some work with maybe grids. Playing with one point perspective a little bit. This was some early concept work for a project I did and eventually film called Rise of the Kage Senshi. You can check that film out by clicking the annotation right here. There'll also be a link in the description box. Some space art type things. These were pastels. This became a painting which I held on to for a little while before I ended up painting over top of it. It was an interesting idea, I just never really executed it that well. Here's those chains coming back into play. This was an interesting concept, uh, very much Dali inspired, a broken egg and a blood river. I had a painting of this for a while, but again, ended up painting over top of that one. Still making comic strips at this point. playing with large-scale room mural ideas. Maybe how lines coming up the walls and then up the ceiling as well. Perhaps the idea that the image shouldn't just stay to the one section of the wall, it should continue perhaps on a little bit further to the other parts of the wall. a little bit similar on how I sort of paint around the canvas these days. Very light, simple pencil sketches. This was one of my favorite cartoon character type deals, sort of a tentacle eyeball. This painting, minus the little cartoon guy, did actually make it into a painting, rather. This drawing into a painting. There were some more characters I came up with. I called them the Phantoms. Phantom of Joy is very innocent. Phantom of Death and Illness is more frightening. Still in my uh, surreal uh, era and mindset, playing with the body parts again, merging them with technology. It's a pun. This was uh, another something of a mural idea of a creature just spewing shapes. Some quick thumbnail work. This was also the first and only sketchbook I did at such a large size. This is an 11 by 14 sketchbook. I wanted to... I was feeling, really feeling inspired and wanted to have a sketchbook that is as large as possible and would still fit in my side bag. Of 
course I found out it was a little too big to carry actually carry it around and work with. This was based off of the piranha plant in the Mario Brothers series. We have Ike the Giant, who I actually sculpted into a clay figurine. Made him into a polymer clay figure. There was a lot of little sketches and drawings about sort of being haunted by your own shadows. This came up uh, several times both in the previous sketchbook, this one, and you might see it again in sketchbook number three. This was another fun character, Mammon. Sort of this dark, demonic creature living in the shadows. Here's your phantoms hanging out on the world. A little bit of pastel work. Still going back and forth between pencil and pen a little bit. This was a life study of my part of my college campus. Had the buildings and the path going up to the to the door. Going back to hands temporarily. These were sketches that I did in the margins of my notebooks. This must have been the end of a year, or end of a semester. I, was a I used to be very bored in class. <laughs> These sketches and drawings were done by a fellow classmate and fellow artist who was heavily inspired by the work of Michelangelo. I had to cut them out and put them in my sketchbook. They're not mine. Too good to be mine, but uh, I was especially intrigued with what he could do with a drawing pen and to really kind of build up the cross hatching. There are those creatures again, the phantoms. You've seen in uh, Tim Gonyard's videos, if you watch his painting tutorials, the idea of multiple seasons on a tree. I think I may have done this drawing even before I saw his videos. This is another one of my favorite characters here by the name of Felix. People I've talked to said Felix looks a little bit like a Muppet. This was a cloak that I made for my ninja film, Rise. I, we talked about that earlier. This cloak did actually get made and is in the, is in the film. It doesn't look quite like this, but it's very similar. A page that I did upside down because I forgot which way my sketchbook was facing. This particular small concept made it into a painting and I do believe it does still exist around somewhere. There's Felix once again. Very expressive. Wanted to do something with big eyes. These were the start of uh, characters that I still use in some of my pieces today. I called them the, the spirits of innocence, sort of little 
childlike figures. Some work with pen and colored pencil. A few more life studies. Wasn't filling as many pages here. I don't think I was feeling as inspired. This was a fun drawing of a hand built out of shapes, maybe mechanical shapes. Started playing a little bit with charcoal. It's another fun little character. Don't think he ever got a name though. And that is sketchbook number two. So, for more of my old sketchbooks, make sure you're subscribed here to the Sketch Everyday channel. And this is Ben reminding you to sketch every day.